Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to add a very simple preloader to be the beginning of your website. So I'm going to do it on my site and then you guys can follow along. Now on my website, I'm going to drag this down just to show you the layers. What happens is at the beginning of the website there's nothing, right? And then there's this, and then this, and then this, and then this, and this happens at the end and all that stuff, right? Well, maybe you might have it so that you at the beginning of your website that you know there's stuff going on and like you can see on my website that the first frame is blank the keyframe I left first I left the first keyframe blank but right away this thing starts fading in so I don't have a lot of room at the beginning of my um, timeline and this is where your preloader is going to go is at the beginning of your timeline so what I want to do is I want to move everything over so to do that, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to open up this folder so that everything I can, I can see everything, okay? And I might need to drag this down a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, select this top keyframe over here in the upper left-hand corner, scroll over, hold down the shift key, and click the bottom right keyframe of my site. So now I have every frame of my website that I've used so far selected and all I'm going to do is just click anywhere anywhere click now that it's all selected I can click anywhere and I can drag it over I'm going to drag the whole thing over to frame 10 okay so I just effectively selected all my keyframes and all my frames and just dragged them over 10 frames so now at the beginning of my um, website there's nothing Okay, I've got this background folder, but uh, there's there's nothing there. The website doesn't really start until frame 10. Okay, so um, now is uh, where this is where I'm going to put in my preloader. So to do this, um, on I'm going to pick a layer. I'm going to pick this bottom layer, sprite, empty keyframe, and at the beginning. And what I'm going to do is I'll get the text tool and I'll change the text to black and I'm going to type the word loading okay so there's the word loading All right. and I'm going to convert this word loading which is static text into a movie clip so I'll hit F8 or modify convert to symbol and I'm going to turn it into a movie clip and I'll call it loading and so now it's a movie clip. So if I select it, it says movie clip. And what I want to do is, is I'm going to select this movie clip now and I'm going to double click on it and go inside of the movie clip. I'm no longer in scene one, I'm in the movie clip. And I'm going to, on the third keyframe, hit F6 and put a keyframe. And then I'm going to delete the object on the keyframe. So there's nothing there. And I want it to be blank there and then I want it to be blank one more frame so on the following frame I'll hit F5 so now I have two frames of the word loading and then two frames of just blankness and what that's going to do is it's going to loop so in other words if I want to test it out I could hit control loop playback control play and you'll see that what will happen is this word loading will just you know loop and it'll flash so that looks good. So then I hit control, stop, and I'll go back to scene one. And so now my movie has this loading, uh, this word loading that happens at the beginning. And what I need to do is I need to um, basically at some point before the movie actually starts playing, probably I'll, I'll just go to frame five and I'll put a keyframe here. And I'll hit F6. So at frame five, I just arbitrarily picked five, put a keyframe at the top layer where the actions are. Okay. And this is where my action script is going to go. And um, I will finish that off in the next movie.